2D Design Video Tutorial 3 Contour. Okay, so in this tutorial, I want to show you how to use the Contour tool. Put simply, the Contour tool allows you to trace around an image that you've got off the internet or off a digital camera. You can also specify exactly how far away the contour line is from the original image, so you could specify that it was 5mm around the outside of the image. Firstly though, I'm going to show you how you can set up the size of your page. Okay, It's important to know what size your page is because when you come to print, for instance if you're doing a flyer or a poster, it's important to know what size it's going to come out of your printer. So to change the size of your page, you go to the setup menu at the top, then select drawing and layout. You'll then see a dialog box appear and you can select use defined here in this dialog box which means we're going to define what size the page is. Now you'll see here that you've got an X and a Y axis and you've got a material size, a design guide and a design guide offset. What we want to do is only change the top two, the material size and the design guide. So we want our image to be 15 centimeters square. So what I can do is I can put 150 in all four of these boxes. It doesn't matter about the millimeters. 2D Design knows that you're drawing in millimeters anyway. And then we can select OK. And this will give us a nice 15 centimeter square page. OK, so now I can bring an image in. So I can go to File, Import File, and then I can go to my Pictures folder and I can select the image that I want to contour. I'm going to select this spider, seems like a nice image to to start with and you'll see that the actual picture of the spider is on white background. It's always a good idea to make sure that you've got a nice plain background of the image that you want to contour. It makes it a lot easier when you're doing it. So there's two ways you can select the contour tool. The contour tool's here, the first one, draw a closed contour or you may see me down in the design technology department using the menu at the top here as well, bitmaps and contour. Now when the dialog box appears, you can see here it's got contour spacing and at the moment it's set at 0.1 millimeters, which is about right. We don't want to have the line too far away from the spider's body. Also, you can see that we've got graphical path selected here at the moment. What we want to do is select tool path and then after that we can click OK. Then all you need to do is select the image. And as you can see straight away, we can move the image out of the way and it's left a contour or a trace around the spider's body. Okay, and then you can use a select tool and you can resize the contour to whatever size you want on the page. Make it smaller, thinner or wider. And once you're happy with the image, the last thing to do would be to save it and then you're done. Try to save it as something that you're going to recognise, so for instance you could call it 2D Design Lesson 2 Task and then you name after it. 